Well, hello, everybody, and welcome into another edition of Larry's Country Diner. Are we going to have a good time today? We, we even got steel guitar on the show today. I mean, that doesn't get any better than that. Right now, I want you to meet a man. He didn't even know chili was a country until somebody mentioned it <laughs> while they were eating a bowl of it here at the diner. It's Larry! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but in Rochester, New York, uh huh. Chili is not spelled, is not pronounced chili. How is it? Pronounced? Chai Lai. What's wrong with those people? Everybody from Rochester, New York that's watching this knows that it's Chai Lai. That would be a law against that. Well, what, in, in town here, <laughs> the Lafayette is Lafayette? That's right. And uh, here in Tennessee, everywhere else it's Santa Fe, but it's Santa Fe here. I've paid a few of those fees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, give me the... Give me the promise. Which one you want today? Please. I know. I, I want. I want the blue one. Okay. A blue promise. There Why it is. Just I don't know. Am I blue? Blue day. I will answer them before they even call to me. While they're still talking to me about their <laughs> needs, I'll go ahead and answer their prayers. There you go. Boy, I like that. Janae Fleener is with us. Yes, she is. Yeah. I am going to... There's so much about Janae that it, it, fills, it fills two pages here. Wow. And I won't read all of it, but it, it would be difficult for us not to mention CMA Musician of the Year. The first female to ever win that. Oh, really? Award. Although known primarily for her fiddling, she's a singer and a songwriter also. An excellent one, too. Currently breaking glass ceilings in Nashville as the first female ever nominated for the CMA, as you just said, M Musician of the Year. She tours with uh, a lot of uh, big name Bla Blake Shelton. Oh, Blake Shelton. She's in his band. She How performs regularly in the house it? band <laughs> of yeah. NBC's vo hit show, The Voice. Past few years, she toured with Steven Tyler of Aerosmith. Previously, previously toured with Martina McBride, Terry Clark, Don Williams. She's an in-demand ses in session fiddler who has played on Blake Sheldon's hits, John Party's hits, a uh, bunch of stuff. When do you, when do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I need a stunt double. That's what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Rascal Flatts, Trace Atkins, Ronnie Dunn, Ashley Moore, Joe Nichols, Reba, Terry Clark, Don Williams, and Trisha Yearwood. Wow. As a songwriter, she's had songs recorded by Blake Shelton, Reba, Dolly Parton, Gretchen Wilson, Kathy Matea, Del McCrory, to name a few. Blake's number one album, Bringing Back the Sunshine, included a song she co-wrote called Just Getting Started, and she co-wrote a song, Oklahoma Christmas, for Shelton's Christmas album. You're just one blessed woman, aren't you? I am very blessed. I will say that. Um, just walking in here, like, I just, <laughs> working with these guys, working with y'all, it's, it, everything is like a dream come true. And, wow. um, you know, when God puts something in your heart, um, and you're just, I just feel so blessed to be doing what I feel like he wants me to be doing. And I look at these walls and people that I've played with, um, Daryl Singletary, yep. absolutely one of my favorites. Um, the Bellamy brothers have been on tour with us with Blake. I don't know if y'all have been to um, Blake's tour lately, but um, he has the Bellamy brothers, John Anderson, um, and Trace Adkins out with us, which has been a dream to get to play with all of them. Yeah. So I, I am very blessed, and um, I, I don't take it for granted. Do you bit. remember the first time you were on one of our shows, who you came with? Well, it's so funny you say that, because my cousin messaged me last night and said, nine years ago... Um, as of yesterday, I was with Larry Cordell. Yep. Larry gave me my first yeah. job when I moved to Nashville, um, straight from Arkansas. <laughs> and so that might have been the first time. And then I played again, um, and Jimmy C. Newman was on Jimmy the show. Jimmy C. Newman is one I was thinking of. Yes. My mom's from Louisiana, from DeRitter, Louisiana. <laughs> you realize we've just covered Cajun music, bluegrass <laughs> music, and country music right yeah, there. everything. I mean, you well, play she's, everything. She's you do, do symphony? Rock and roll. <laughs> and rock and roll, yeah. And I heard she was going to do a rap song. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> no, no. We're not touching that. <laughs> 
country and rap equals, you know. Uh huh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> That over there is Ben Hill. Ben Hall. Ben Hall. No, he was Ben Hill. Oh, okay. <laughs> it works. Yeah, whatever you Here. call He used to be a mountain, now he's a molehill. That's right. There you Hello, go. sir. Ben, ben Hall. Hall. And this we know from Country's Family Reunion. Right, so. <laughs> Our great Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson. Uh, glad to be here. Yes, thank you. Glad to be with these guys. You guys kick something off for us. Yeah, uh, this first one is one I wrote with um, Phil O'Donnell and Buddy Owens. And um, I busted in the writing room one day, and I'm like, we have to write this song. Call it Fiddle and Steel. (laughs) It hadn't been done. It's my favorite. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) And so it's um, we actually wrote this song to pitch to a male artist. And then um, when I decided I wanted to cut some stuff, I was like, let's just tailor a few things, and um, I made it my own. So this is called Fiddle and Steel. One, two, three, four. Old pickups drive my soul down a dirt road. Tastes like Tennessee. I feel close to heaven out in Colorado. I think of my daddy when I see Army Green. The smell of deviled eggs, and I'm in Mama's kitchen. Loaded up for Sunday dinner on the ground. Lord knows. I miss them old timers picking Yeah, I'm right back home Every time I hear the sound Of a fiddle and steel Crying through my radio Sad and slow I can't help myself There I go Tripping through memory film with a fiddle and steel. They're the color of our country through the speakers. Together they still chill me to the bone. The soundtrack for the lovers and the leavers My cup of tea When I want a drink and song With the fiddle and steel Crying through my radio Sad and slow I can't help myself Is the sequel to that going to be Steel Fiddling? Steel Fiddling, yeah. That's a great idea. 
Maybe I can do that. <laughs> we'll work on that. There you go. I That's think right. it needs a little more fiddle and a little less steel. Oh. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Them I'm... are fighting words. <laughs> Since you do so much, if you had to settle on one of them, songwriting, playing, singing, touring. Um, I was just telling somebody backstage, you know, um, I had a dream, or not a literal dream, but when I stepped in a studio for the first time when I was around 11 years old, wow. and I heard my fiddle coming through the my speakers, um, or in the headphones, I was like, I want to go wherever I can record music. And, uh, and I started to realize the fiddle and steel guitar and everything I was hearing on the radio that, you know, Nashville was the place to go to record. So, um, I think session work is really, I just love, I just love being that creative process. And every time I step in the studio, I just, I love it so much. Wow. And I'd probably do it for nothing, but don't tell anybody that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? This show's for nothing. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Oh, oh. We'll be back with Larry's Country Diet in just a few moments. And <laughs> uh, What's that girl? Uh, Nadine. She's on the way. I want some chicken. Chicken. The Larry's Country Night. We got a special treat what? on the menu today. It's uh, Jane A. Fleener's Fiddle Faddle. Yeah. Jane A. Popcorn. Did you say Jane A? Jane A. Jane a. That's what, a new Jan one. How do you say it? Jane. Jane. Like Renee, but Jane. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Forrest Gump. Jane Does a. that change your menu? I've item? got it right there. Uh, Jane A. Jane A. <laughs> Jane A. 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 Fiddle faddle, okay. <laughs> Popcorn covered with caramel and mixed with peanuts. You can eat it as a dessert. You can eat it as an appetite. You can make it a main course meal if you want to. We don't care, Randy. <laughs> There's Larry. What's her name again? <laughs> Janae. Janae. It's not that hard, really. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hey, yeah. Renee. Renee. Hey, Nadine. Come in, Nadine. How you doing? Get me out of this hole. <laughs> you dug a big one. He dug it. Hey there, Miss Janae. Hey. You said Mike. it right. Yeah. How y'all doing? Why can't I? <laughs> What's that? What was that? What did I do wrong? Nothing. You did, you did it right. I did it wrong. It's good to have some young people on this show, I tell you. <laughs> so tired of all these old people. <laughs> you know... You know, everybody thinks that I'm really younger than I am, <laughs> except when they stand, <laughs> except when they hear me stand up. <laughs> Did somebody say that's all she's got? <laughs> well, excuse me. Yeah, you know, I never thought I'd be the type that would get up early in the morning to work out. I was yep. right, sure enough, I was right. You weren't. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> My last good run was in my pantyhose. <laughs> Homer always told me, he said, if you ran like your mouth does, you'd be in good shape. <laughs> yeah, it would. But, um, you know, I, th I told him, I said, you know, I thought the dryer was shrinking my clothes, but come to find out it was a refrigerator. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, let me ask you something. If you drop a cookie and you bend over to pick it up, is that a squat? Do they consider that a squat? Depends on how many I, cookies. Yeah, depends on. I uh, I probably burn 2,000 calories a week just putting on a fitted sheet by myself. Yeah. They're tough. It's hard. It is. Climbing all over that bed. You got a <laughs> king size bed. We a fitted Me and Homer sheet. got us one of them. We got us one of them beds that moves up and down because we knew it'd be our last one. You know. <laughs> so we got one of those last time, and uh, I crank that bed all the way up, put that sheet on it. Sit on it and go down. <laughs> I hadn't tried yoga, but um, I picked up car keys before, and I don't think I'd like yoga. Yeah. But um, I told what? I told Renee and them, I said, "Hey, if you ever find my body on a jogging trail, you know I was murdered and dumped there." Yeah. <laughs> this is a 
true story, Johnny Russell, when he was alive, he was walking a track out in Hendersonville with another country star. And it's when cell phones, the big brick kind of cell oh, phones, yeah. had just come out. And he had one. So he had it jammed in his, in, in, in his pants, the, the jogging pants. And he told the guy next to him, he said, if I happen to have a heart attack, I'm going to fall on the left side so you can pull the phone out of my right side and phone the, the EMTs. Several months later, he had a heart attack walking in track. <laughs> I don't think it had to do anything with the phone, but he, uh, <laughs> it was just funny to hear him tell that because he was going, if it happens, I'll try to fall over this way. <laughs> Go ahead. Did I'm anybody sorry. call on the last one? No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, I, I'm really pretty much through. I, I wanted to do a shout out to Bob and Mary Brown in Northeast Pennsylvania. Yeah. They watch the show. You think the they'll show. hear you? Yeah. She'll hear me. Some loud she's shot, a twit huh? face. She'll hear me. <laughs> she, uh, she's on Twitter and Facebook, so we call her Twit Face. Uh, <laughs> 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 You're one too. <laughs> Randy anyway, liked that one. <laughs> twit face, yeah. That's his new one. You're still on That's his one. new one. I know. I'm still on the stool. All right, my church sign. Sometimes God will put a Goliath in your life to draw out the David in you. Oh, wow. that's heavy. Not Lord bad. knows, I got the Goliath. You got in my the Goliath, life. right? <laughs> <laughs> Trying Come. to find the David. <laughs> Come on, David. Come on, David. Amen. I uh, before we go back to Janae or Janie. Janae. Yeah, <laughs> Janae. Janae. <laughs> I read I like this that. one and thought I liked that. <laughs> Three men working in a scaffolding building on a 25th floor. They'd take their lunchbox, scoot out on a metal beam, and eat their lunch. A man from Mexico said, if I have cold tacos one more time, I'm going to jump off. The man from Italy looked at his lunch and said, if I have cold pizza one more time, I'm going to jump too. The blonde man looked at his and said, if I have another peanut butter sandwich, I'm jumping off too. Next day, the man from Mexico saw he had tacos, he jumped off. Man from Italy saw he had pizza and he jumped too. The blonde looked and he had a peanut butter sandwich, so he jumped. Triple funeral. Three widows are talking. The one from Mexico said, I'm sorry. If I'd have known how much he hated tacos, I wouldn't have put them in his lunchbox. The one from Italy said, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have given him another pizza if I knew he hated one. The wife of the blonde just sat there and didn't say a thing. Two other widows looked at her and said, finally, she said, don't look at me. He fixed his own lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's your turn, Janae. All right. Well, let's just do um, Good Old Girls. This is a song, you know, everybody's heard Good Old Boys, yep. but I had never heard a song about Good Old Girls. And um, so this is my story song I heard... Um, I was a big fan of Doug Kershaw, and um, I actually heard him recently. He was, he's 80-something, mm. still, still killing it, man. He's playing great, and I always love Louisiana Man. So this is my story in a song, um, kind of inspired by Doug. Here we go. One, two, three. Chasing them birds and bees. Nine months later, Arkansas had a brand new baby me. Daddy played me a Bob Will song. Mama gave me a bow. Dad was a fiddle and faded love by the time I was five years old. Good old girls, good old girls, good old girls like me. Southern for Black Eyed Pea. We pray and cuss, fix our hair, and wear tight fitting jeans. I guess that's why them good old boys love good old girls like me. Lord, I was green when I turned 18, but I hated Nashville way. I caught a 
break in 30 days. I was on that Opry stage. I paid my dues, made the news, and it made my mama cry. Cause her little girl was on top of the world in the big spotlight. Hey, good old girls, good old girls, good old girls like me. Southern fried, cut and dry, country is a black eyed pea. We pray and cuss, fix our hair and wear tight fitting jeans. I guess that's why them good old boys love good old girls like me. Pick it, good old boy. are going to blaze a trail now when that train comes rolling you better hold on like hell keep singing to Emmy Lou and work on your banjo yeah this is for the girl on her front porch rosinin up her bow there we go good old girls good old girls good old girls like me southern fried cut and dry country and collard greens we Jeans. I guess that's why them good old boys love good old girls like me. Faded love. Did you get professionally trained? I did, yes. My mom and dad signed me up for Suzuki violin at the age of three. Yeah. Wow. They saw some little kids in the paper and thought they were cute. So you had, <laughs> had one of those little bitty violins? And, oh, yeah. You start out with a cardboard box violin. And wow. um, they did the method, you know, just as it was written in the book and made me practice an hour a day. And there's times I didn't want to practice. <laughs> but I always loved to play, you know, with other musicians. And um, Mom wanted me to go to Juilliard, but the Grand Ole Opry was more <laughs> the route I wanted I'm to take. So. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. So great to have you with us. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Oh, I thought Suzuki made motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Boy, Larry's Country Diner is on their way. the diner you don't want to miss one minute and here is larry at the last minute Janae. yes sir you got another one yes and i i did a costume change oh yes you, <laughs> you did tell or not i don't know <laughs> um i have to tell you about this jacket so john like i said john anderson was on tour with blake and um so we got to play seminole wind and all these songs with john and such oh my gosh it was such a dream and one night he comes up through the stage and he's wearing this jacket and everyone turns to me because I collect turquoise and all this fun stuff and and I about ran over, <laughs> over there and grabbed it <laughs> off of him. But anyway, I, I told him, I said, where'd you get this jacket? And and, uh, and at the end of the tour, long story short, he gave me his jacket. And um, that's this jacket. And it means so much to me. It's kind of like Linus's blanket. He's probably like, I wish that girl would just get rid of that thing. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing it. So we're doing a John Anderson, well, it's a Mark Knopfler song, but it's called uh, When It Comes to You. You probably remember that song. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
If we can't get along, we ought to be apart. Now tell me where'd you get that cold, cold heart? Set me free, sign my release. I'm tired of being a villain of the peace. You've been giving me bad times. Tell me what I do. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it come to you? Saying things that you didn't have to. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it come to you? You only get one life, and this I know. I got to get my links in before I go. Fire and love is dead and cold. Got to satisfy this hunger in my Come on, always get a hard time, honey, when it come to you. Saying things that you didn't have to. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it come to you? Mike Johnson. If we can't get along, we ought to be apart. Now tell me where'd you get that cold, cold heart? Set me free, sign my release. I'm tired of being a villain of the peace. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it come to you? Saying things that you didn't have to. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it come to you? How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it come to you? How come I always get a hard time? Janae Fleener, get us out of here. We'll be right back. Oh, we got to recover from that one. We'll be back with more Larry's Country Diner in just a minute, so stay with us. Don't go nowhere. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. We're about out of town, so I'm just going to say, there's Larry. Janae, you're going to be exhibited by the uh, Hall of Fame, right? Yes, I'm featured. I probably didn't say that right. Well, you, you've got an exhibit. This guy works there. He can tell us. But... You're, you're featured. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, I do have 
like the stuff that I wore with Blake on the CMAs um, that's featured in the American Currents and um, and some of my turquoise and, and fiddle and fun stuff. So what an honor I got to see it. And you betcha. Just to stand there and see your stuff. But <laughs> you won't John see Pryor. John Anderson's jacket because nope. you've got it. I'm, st I'm still wearing that one. So. <laughs> so when they open back up, they can come yes. see your exhibit. Yes, please. Take That's your picture great. with it and send it to me. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Give us another one. All right. This one's going to feature one of my favorite musicians sitting right here, Mike Johnson. <laughs> oh. It's the one called The Nightlife. Oh, yeah. Perfect. The nightlife, hey, no good life, but it's my life. Many people just like me dreaming of all used to be. Well, the night. Mike Johnson. Yeah. Ben, 
<laughs> Van Hall. Get us out of here. That's it. Thank Woo. you very much. Thank I you for coming. I don't think I can take any more of that. Yeah, Ooh. let's go. Remember, oh, one last thing. I need your help. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we don't care. All right.